Hey, what's going on? I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com and today I have a little bit different view on iOS 5. I'm going to talk about where it falls short. In my opinion, what things could have been made better. And we're going to start off with what I think is the biggest one. So the first thing I'm going to show you is iOS 5 notifications. My phone is locked and I just got an email. So there it is. I can slide to unlock and read it. But let's say I don't want to do that. Let's say I decide to just slide to unlock normally and go about my day and, you know, check my Twitter or something. Um, it'll still be in my notifications up here. There you can see it right there. But if I lock my phone, it is no longer in there, which is frustrating. I believe in my mind it should be there until you read it, just like how it is up here. So that is the first problem with iOS notifications, is you can't see all your notifications right from the lock screen. All right, my next problem is also with notifications, and it is when the phone is unlocked and you're using it and you get a notification. So I'm going to send myself another email, and you will see what happens. Sending. Doo -doo -doo. It's going to pop up here, and I'm not going to be able to access the controls on the top of Facebook. There it goes. You can see it, and I can't get to those access. Now, this will go away in a second, or I could click on it and respond to the email. So there it goes. Not that big a deal, you think, but I think they could have done better. I think just like when you're on a call and your a whole screen moves downward, I think that would have been a much way of doing it. So you could still have full access to your app, you know, if you're playing a game or something, and you could also respond to the email if you wanted to. Another thing I would like to see changed is I would like to see some kind of controls up here. So in this widget area, I would like to see, you know, like a widget so I could turn off my Wi-Fi or turn it on. You know, just a little switch, or you know, 3G, or some kind of some kind of thing to make this more useful. Some kind of uh, customizable widgets would be nice too. Yeah, like a Facebook widget, so I could just quickly check my Facebook or Twitter instead of just mail. You know, mail and Tiny Tower kind of things. Like that would be really nice. But specifically, some kind of settings widget. So definitely Wi-Fi, I think, would be important because I'm always going to my settings to get to my Wi-Fi, and you know. Number one, you have to wait for it to load, which sometimes takes a while, and then click, and then you gotta switch it. And that's a lot of that's a lot of clicking for me. I think that's too much. I think it would be just easier to flip down and click right there. Another thing that could use improvement is the Reminders app. I really like it, and it's pretty awesome. And I actually had the idea of being able to set a reminder for a current location a long time ago, and I thought it'd make a great to-do list app. But I don't know how to code or anything, so you know. I didn't ever do it, and Apple came out with it, and I'm sure it's way better than I would have ever done. But here's one thing I don't like. You can set a reminder for a place. So I'll add a place, or add a reminder, so say hi. Say hi. That's a good reminder. you got to say hi to people. Okay, so, and then I'll go into the settings here, and I can put remind me, and I can put add location. And I can use my current location, or I can use... Uh, the, a location of uh, contact. So if, let's say, I have the address of my sister in her phone or in my phone's contact list, I can add that also. But the thing is, for me, it just doesn't seem right because I don't add people's addresses to their contact. I just have their phone number and email usually. And it's kind of weird. You don't like walk up to someone that you just meet, met and, you know, you see their... Uh, you get their phone number and stuff, and then you're like, oh, also, can I have your address? That's kind of creepy, you know? So you can get your current location or the address of someone on your contact list, but you can't just type in an address, which I think is, you know, kind of silly. I think you should be able to type in someone's address and then, you know, remind you at a certain location, like Walmart, you know, have your grocery list and then type in Walmart's address, and then, bam, when you arrive at Walmart, it tells you what you need. And the two last things I don't like are there is no Facebook integration. There is Twitter integration. You can go to your settings and you can go to Twitter and you can add Twitter accounts. You can follow me at twitter.com slash TIP underscore Daniel or you could not, you know, it's your choice, but there's no Facebook integration. Yeah, you know, I use Facebook more. So I think that would be nice. And the last thing that I do not like is they separated the music and the, the video apps on for the iPod. It used to be that there was an iPod app here and um, they changed it. Now I think iPod touches are this way, they've been, they've been separated the entire time, 
but now I have my video player app in like in a folder over here which is weird I think because uh, they should be in one app I don't need any more apps on my screen I would like them to be together so I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com and these are the places where I think iOS 5 falls short you can hit me up on Twitter like I said and you could uh, tell me where you think it falls short tell me what you're excited about you can comment in the sections below I'm probably not gonna read them so just hit me up on Twitter but I'm Daniel go to the site it is iPhone.com you'll love it